and today we're going to talk about being a safe pilot when you fly your drones. It doesn't matter if it's a small drone or a large drone. It's up to you to operate it safely and one of those things to do is to make sure that other aircraft in the area can see you when you're flying. They may not actually see the drone, but you have to draw their attention. And one good way of doing that is to have a strobe light on your drone. Now, this is the original ARC-5 from Firehouse Technology. These things you can see for three nautical miles. That strobe light has been our mainstay on all of the drones that we fly. Well, <laughs> what we found out is that Firehouse Technology has now come up with a mini strobe light. Half the size of their original. And what we're going to do is we're going to put both of these strobe lights on the EVO 1. And we're going to take this up and we're going to fly it at dusk. And then when it's a little darker out. Some of the other things that I'd like to point out. Which may be obvious to some of you guys. But the size of these lights. The ARC-5 and the Mini. It's amazing. I mean, there they are. Look at this size. That Mini is half the size. It opens up um, a lot of uses for that small strobe light. Especially on larger drones that may have more sensors or lights themselves on the bottom. The advantage of the smaller strobe light on something like this is that it weighs half a gram. It's not going to put your drone over the weight limit on these smaller drones. So, with that said, <laughs> let's go see what the difference, if there is, between these two strobe lights on our EVA 1. This is the ARC-5, and this is their new Mini 1. I gotta check a couple things here before we fly. I usually go to my before you fly app and see what it says here. It says it cleared for takeoff. Great. Wonderful. Okay, so we're good. We don't have any problems there. Let's check flight conditions 80 degrees and clear. Five mile an hour winds, perfect. Cost to seven, nothing. Okay, they are both on. Okay, you can see the strobe lights on there. We'll take her up and see if there's any difference in them. Okay, we're up 160 feet, and we'll see if we can see the strobes on the uh, on the drone in this daylight. Yep, I can see them. I can see them both. I cannot see a difference in one strobe to the other. They're both pretty bright. We're going to bring it back down, and when it gets a little darker, we're going to take it back up so that we can see it a little bit better. Time check is 9.30 and uh, we have the strobe lights on the drone. We're going to get the Autrail EVO 1 drone fired up here. So we'll reach over and get her started. Looks like we're all connected now. We're going to get ready to go here. We're going to start the motors up on the drone. Let them warm up a little bit and then we'll take her up and hover and get a uh, a home point.
here we go. Everything looks pretty good. Let's just take her up. We're going to take her up to 160 feet like we did before. And we're going to see if you can see any difference in those strobes. 160 feet. Okay. Let's take a look see. I can't tell the difference between the two strobes in brightness or anything like that. Boy, look at that skyline. Man, that looks pretty nice. You can see it pretty good up there as we're moving along here. Okay, we'll bring her home. Here she comes. Here she comes. <laughs> home, home, sweet home. Well, I hope you've seen uh, that there's really no difference, at least in our small little test today, um, taking the EVO 1 up with the two different strobes on the bottom of it. The uh, mini strobe light is a big deal. Hey, it makes a big difference on where you can mount it on all of your drones. And like I said, on the larger drones that have all the different sensors on the on the bottom, you want a you want a strobe light on the bottom as well as on the top. And man, you're just watching it, watching it, watching it, and then you look down at your controller for a second and you go back and you go, uh oh. Where is that drone? On the bottom at least you know, you can keep track of it that way with that blinking light. You can't always see the light that's on the top of the drone. But other aircraft in the area that will be uh, higher than you in altitude should be able to pick that up pretty quick from its flashing. It's, it's a great, inexpensive addition to flying safe when you fly your drone. Hey, if you're getting anything out of our videos, and I hope that you are, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, leave us a comment. We'll try and get back to you as soon as we possibly can. There's a lot of new drones on the market today, and this new mini strobe light from Firehouse Technology is going to be a great addition to any drone that you have and fly. Until next time, fly safe, fly often, and always do the right thing. Bob out.